Welcome back. So here's what we're doing. The home we're visiting today is about five years old, and while it's an Energy Star home, the homeowners have had some comfort issues. So we're trying to get to the bottom of those issues. Several rooms aren't getting enough air. One room has a loud noise when the heating and cooling equipment is running, and that same room either gets way too hot or way too cold, depending on the season. Pete and Silas did some testing around the home. They did a blower door test to check out air leaks, and then they checked out the heating and cooling equipment. And finally, they did some pressure testing in each of the rooms. So, Silas, what did you guys find out? From the blower door test, we found out that we really didn't need to focus on the air sealing or the insulation because the home was very tight. Um, so we knew we could focus on the heating and cooling system. And so we started out by looking at the heating and cooling equipment itself and everything checked out there. As we went through and did some airflow testing in the rooms, we did find that we had a stuck zone damper. So all of our instrumentation led us to believe that all the zones were operating properly, when in reality, this zone damper was stuck closed, which was eliminating airflow to three bedrooms in the basement. It was something as simple as a switch? Something very simple, that's right. Wow, that yeah. was pretty lucky. It was really lucky, especially because we were about two minutes away from taking a claw hammer to the wall to oh, find out no. if we had a disconnected duct. Oh my gosh. Well, you solved the problem in three rooms. We did. So the original reason that we got called was for the room with the really high airflow and the loud noise. And what we found out was the duct that went to that room actually connects right over the furnace. And when that happens, the airflow from the blower has no resistance, so you just get way too much air and a lot of noise. And it, uh, like a proximity issue. That's right. And the other issue is where that duct connects is not controllable by the zone dampers. So regardless of whether the basement or the main floor thermostat is calling for heat, that room's always getting heat blown into it. It's responding to every zone. That's right. So okay. the great news is the solution to that, we can just take that duct completely out and seal it. Wait a minute, if you seal off that duct, is that room gonna get any air at all? The good news is, is we've got a second duct into that room and doing some air balancing, we can put just the right amount of air to make them toasty. I think the homeowner is gonna be really happy with it. I hope so. Are these common problems in you, newer homes? You know, it is little weird stuff like this seems to happen quite a bit, which is part of the reason that we get a lot of our phone calls from homes that are just a few years old. Okay, well, what are the other steps we have to do? We're just gonna go out and finish up by doing some air balancing. Okay. So Silas, what's the last thing you need to do here? So after we've made all the repairs to the heating and cooling system, the last step that we want to take is to air balance. And essentially what that means is we're going to take air or heat from the rooms that have too much and redistribute it to the rooms that don't have enough. And we're going to do that by installing these manual balancing dampers. So we're going to use what we call a retrofit damper. And so this literally just slides in to each of the registers that have too much air. Uh, it gets fastened with one sheet metal screw, and then I can adjust this damper to redirect the airflow back to a different duct. How simple. So you just manually adjust it? Yep. So you install this, and then can you adjust that at any time? Yeah, we can close it down to shut more air down or open it up to, to put more air in the room. Close it down. Measure it. And we brought it down to just under 30 cubic feet per minute, which is what we're shooting for. Great. You know, all in all, these issues were pretty easily solved today. And I think the homeowner is going to find a lot of comfort in this. I think so, too. We solved all of our comfort problems today, but we found an indoor air quality issue. We did. This is intriguing. Why don't you tell both Pete and I about it?